Okay, we're in the middle of a heat wave in the United States, uh, July of 2016. Um, temperatures going up to 90, 100 degrees. Um, we live in Virginia, and I'm visiting my my mom and my grandmother and my uncle here on vacation, and um, their um, their heat pump just went out uh, two days ago. It had um, had uh, the air conditioner uh, service uh, people come and um, take a look at it, and they said that we needed a new run capacitor. Um, they came in on a Friday around, uh, I'm sorry, you know, around Friday on 2 p.m., and they said, oh, well, they replaced the run capacitor. That's what was wrong with, the, uh, with it not being able to cool, and they said it'll take you know, several hours, 12, 13 hours for it to start working and cooling, you know, cooling the house again. This is a two-story house, um, four bedroom. But yesterday, it just wasn't working. It started getting hot. So what I want to do now is check the run capacitor. I looked online to see, first of all, I want to see if he put a brand new one in there and maybe read the serial number of it and make sure he didn't, um, do something like just turn a switch and you know he charged us look at here he charged us 210 bucks and all it took him like 15 minutes labor materials $85 and 20 cents um, I'm sorry total materials $85 and then the uh, labor was 110 bucks travel charge 15 bucks for a total of 210 so um, it's important that uh, we stay cool because my grandmother is 88 years old, and my uncle just got out of the hospital. He fell, hit his head, and he's got COPD and a whole host of other problems. So uh, this is a dire situation for us. Okay, this is the run capacitor, um, and for what I'm seeing, there's no warpage in it. So, it looks like it's a new one, for what I'm seeing. So I don't know if it was, if the capacitor was was good, and he just was thinking that that's what it was. But um, I don't know why it's not working. Okay, so it looks like I jumped the gun as far as not being patient with letting the um, heat pump cool the whole house. Um, around the the Friday night, I. Uh, didn't realize they had a family member who turned the breakers off to the heat pump because he thought that it was just blowing hot air in and that it was making things worse well you have to you have to give it time and we didn't give it time so 
that's what happened. We had someone, a family member, who's an AC, you know, an AC tech. He came over and he says, "Yeah, you, it's working. It's working great." Matter of fact, he's the one that installed it. He says, "You just, you just got to give it time." You know, right now it's July 2016. We're in the middle of a heat wave, so um, you know it's extremely hot. You have the attic that you have to to cool as well. You know, the attic I'm sure is well way up into the hundreds. Um, and of course, outside it's 95 degrees, so very, very, very hot. It's just going to take some time for the 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 heat pump to start working again. Um, as far as price, you saw the price there it was 210 to replace the uh, run capacitor. Now, I mean, if you do your research, you know, you can get a run capacitor anywhere for 10 bucks to 30 bucks or whatever, and he charged 80. Keep in mind though, they do put a premium cost on it, um, which is pretty normal for any repair person to add. An additional cost they sort of migrate some of their labor into the part which is understandable um, and 210 may be on the high side you know I would say on average to, to, to have someone replace the run capacitor would probably be around 150 170 but of course it does depend on your location uh, and demand you know right now we're in the middle in the summer in the middle of a heat wave so um, supply and demand you're going to have a lot of demand and he has a right uh, and AC repair people have a right to start charging a little bit more. Uh, completely understandable. If you get a good one, that's worth all the money in the world, you know. Go on Google, go on Yelp, look at reviews, and if, make sure you get a good one. Me, personally, I'm not really a handy, handyman kind of person, but if you are someone that is good with uh, repairs and stuff like that, from what I read, it's a pretty easy fix if, you, uh, if you're good at that kind of stuff. I would just recommend you know watching some uh, YouTube videos and some tutorials there are some safety measures you need to uh, to do before replacing it but you know you can pick one up at Lowe's or Home Depot the run capacitor for probably 20 bucks and and do it yourself so um, if you see any bulging or leaking from it that might be a good a good thing to to go ahead and replace if if your if your um, AC is not working just remember to stay cool. You know, drink plenty of water. Um, maybe go to the movies where they have air conditioning. Go to a restaurant. Maybe go to a fast food place or a, a Starbucks where they have free Wi-Fi and chill out there for a couple, couple of hours while you're, you know, waiting for your house to cool or waiting for an AC repair person to to call you back. Um, you know, and just relax and soon it'll, you know, the heat wave will end or you know, you'll have your air conditioner up and running. Uh, look around your house and see if you have any more, you know, of the, of the house fans, portable house fans that you might have forgot about. You know, you might ha even have like a, like a window air conditioner, you know, one of those old ones that you forgot about where you can just, you know, put it in your window frame. Actually, that happened with us. We forgot about it and it was like, oh crap, we forgot about that. Maybe try to put it in a bedroom though. It's going to cool it off a lot easier and close the door. You know, if you put it in a living room, it's definitely not going to cool. So, anyways, hope this video helps. Thanks so much for watching.